No, uh, well, I was just going to say, in that same vein, you know, we're going to see some of, eventually down the line, some of the same musical things, even if it's indirectly something like Moriarty or anything like that. Yes. <laughs> Go on. That's, that's all I did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, without, without getting into too much detail, uh, it would seem a shame to do Sherlock without Moriarty. Uh, and so, yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to see him talk about that. We, I mean, we also thought it was important to establish the relationship between Watson and Sherlock, especially since there's been, a, there's been a little bit of a reset. They're just meeting each other. It's a, you know, she's a sober companion. He's getting out of rehab. We felt like let's establish their world, their relationship a little better. And then as time, you know, permitted, as time goes by, we could start to introduce other characters as the storytelling wants. Yeah. How does the whole um, rehab and the being sober sort of play into it? Does that, does that come up a lot? Uh, you know, we want to be... We want to be true to the, you know, to the ordeal that he's going through. We want to be true to her job. Uh, I think as the series grows and develops, there's going to be less uh, monitoring for her to do. Um, you know, addiction is a, is a terrifically tricky thing. Um, and it, like I said, I mean, we, will, we will keep it alive, but it's not a show in which we go week in and week out wondering, is this where he's going to fall off the wagon? That was a really hard case. That, you know, it's, it's, it's not really where the show lives. Um, but, it, but it will manifest itself in other ways. I mean, whatever drove him to, and I won't say, but whatever drove him to his addiction, those things, you know, are in some ways still present with him. And so, even as she has less to deal with relative to his drug use, she still will have things to do in terms of his emotional health and in terms of just who he is and how he got that way. And so that's a storyline or an arc that I think would play probably over a great part of the series. Uh, so less about drugs and more about kind of, you know, human psychology, human behavior, how he became the guy he was, that yeah, he I mean, is. Even when things were great, he was a terrifically complicated and difficult sure. guy. No, sure. uh, something terrible happened, and to his great surprise, he, he broke. He broke down, he, you know, drugs became a, a you know, a serious crutch. Uh, and I think now that he's come out the other side of it, you can't help but see the world a little, a little bit differently. He was already hypersensitive. He was already hyperperceptive. I think drugs helped in that regard. I think, you know, if the world was to turn to 11, it brought it down to sort of a regular volume. Um, you know, but moving forward, it's, it's got to, I think somewhere in his, you know, the back of his head, there's a little doubt where there, where none previously existed. It's, you know, he, he thought he was infallible, but he made a pretty terrible mistake. Are you going to, um, the woman, that mystery woman you know, that he's in love with his name, I can't remember, but they did him in the BBC version, um, she did the naked scene. What, what's the character name? I mean, are you going to have an Irene Adler in this? And are you going to do some homages like to the Hounds of the Back and Baskervilles and some of those classic things? Uh, you know, specific, we have a sense of a handful of people that we'd like to see over the course of the first season. Um, Irene might be one of them. Uh, uh, you know, they're they're You're being very cagey. I, I have to be cagey. <laughs> I like your uh, you know, as far as homages go. Again, we're not you know we're not looking to contemporize the original stories. Uh, that said, if there was something that really stood out, if somebody had a take on something that that we felt we could modernize, you know, Town of the Baskervilles is especially difficult given it's about a guy who paints a dog and starts to paint. Hard to do in New York City in 2012. Um, but again, we'd like to have little, again, little tips of our cap to fans who really know the material, who will know the names, who will know the streets, who will know, uh, you know, again, little little bits and pieces of the, of the original. What's the? Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, how do you feel about this? I think it's fine. I, 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 I don't know if I would go so I actually think it's flattering. I mean, it started with, you know, will we be as good? You know, is there need for another one? It's been, it was, you know, it was a little challenging at first. And we expected that. I mean, Rob knew, Sarah, my, Sarah, myself, my partner, we knew that if we tried to do Sherlock Holmes 120 years later, you know, after a very successful BBC show, that there would be a lot of skepticism. And I think that was, it's a, it's a real testament to Rob's writing. There was no real fear and there was no real concern because we knew if this was X 
executed the way Rob could, that ultimately the press, in, in many regards, they have come around, and hopefully the audiences will love it, and there's room for really good versions of Sherlock to coexist, whether it's in movies and TV, or two TV shows and a movie, there's room for all of it. If executed well, if respectful of the original character. Um, if, if, you, if you aspire no. to the quality of the movies and television shows that have been created by people who love the characters, that's the best place to be. It, it's it's not about, I mean, you know, Sherlock, over the, the many, 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 many years he's been around, he's been through many hands. It's one of the reasons he's so embedded in the popular culture. Uh, well, it's one of the reasons the audience keeps coming, because they almost expect, ooh, what are they going to do with Sherlock? What's their approach? What's so their take on him? So as long as, again, you know, in, in some way we're respectful to the character and to the history of this iconic figure, but also provided Rob has his own vision and can execute something new and fresh and interesting, I think the audiences really appreciate the effort and hopefully, you know, will gather around the show and love it as much as they love the BBC one. And Sherlock has big shoulders and I think he can carry all of it. What, what's the format going to be week to week? Is it going to be a, you know, like a procedural and then a uh, it will be, arc? We will have a case per week. I mean, there will be a, a mystery that, that they are, are injected into. Uh, we will look to be close-ended in that respect, that whatever case we start at the top, we'll, we'll solve it by the end. Um, and serialized elements. Yeah, there will be there will be elements, really, the, the, the personal dynamic between Holmes and Watson, uh, you know, the evolution from companionship to partnership. Uh, and the details that will... And the details of their lives. I mean, the things that yeah. she learns about him. You know, I always think, I like to think the key mystery in this show is not... The stories will be fantastic. The pilot story is fantastic. That mystery is great. But unlocking the mystery of this show, I think, is as much a personal journey as it is a professional one. And the mystery of who Sherlock is and the mystery of who Joan is, frankly, Joan Watson, that that is a very much, very much a serialized element to this show that I think will be able to, you know, whether it's her family, whether it's his father, his brother, whoever, those are the kind of stories that I think will just complement the more procedural, contained elements of the storytelling. Can you see Mycroft then? What's that? Mycroft. <laughs> He's on that He's same good. list of, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, like, like, the names that come instantly to mind are Moriarty, Mycroft, Irene Adler. I take my cue from him. They're at the top of the list.